Hello and welcome. Nosy Housefrau here, sticking my nose in on a topic I have been eager to chime in on again for a while now. Hours of fun for the whole family. Joy Sparkle BS. In my first Joy video, I basically felt she was someone who denied her ambition and came across as phony. Since then, she's given me a lot more reason to throw shade her way. She has, at the very least, made some abhorrent choices. And some things have come to light that made me feel even more warranted in being one of her detractors. And because of that, I want to address a fan, someone who feels that Joy should be defended. She, like a lot of Joy fans, makes the disclaimer that she's not a super fan. A lot of them do that, and I understand why you'd want to separate yourself from the super fans. But let's just jump right in there. Without further ado, meet JD. I won't lie and say that I'm just a huge Joy Sparkle BS fan. I mean, I do enjoy her videos and I do miss the fact that she is now gone. Okay, you're a fan and you're making a video to support her. It's okay to be all in on that. Stand by your fan. Okay. Um, but one thing I have to say or one thing I want to ask her haters is would you sit around and just let people dog you? I mean, just constantly make up crap about you, lie publicly about you, and not say anything? That is a textbook loaded question. Have you stopped beating your wife, sir? Right out of the gate, you're assuming that everything said against Joy has been a fabrication. It's a lie, and she's a victim of people ganging up on her. Now, it's to your credit that you made a video, even coming out of your comfort zone, to defend someone you believe was being falsely maligned. However, your question is patently false. And if you don't know why, I hope you will by the end of this video. Everyone seems so angry at her for finally standing up to the people who were doing her obviously wrong. Why on earth would anyone have a problem with someone finally defending themselves? Okay, we are talking about Joy, right? You're not talking about Rosa Parks. This is the same person that I saw plaster children all over her site, claiming she had to do it in the best interest of the children, making excuses because what she wanted to do conflicted with the right thing to do. Are you really going to tell me that you don't understand where all of this ire is coming from? You think she's done nothing to garner this? Let me give you a little history lesson. Her decisions have been a legion of stupidity, at the very least. She told a young kid to rape their bullies, okay? She has never really apologized without putting things like if and or but in front of her apologies. She continually says how she owns things, but claiming that you own your behavior is not really the same thing as owning it. That's just talking the talk. So let's say you're right, and this person who I don't think has ever been a shrinking violet afraid to speak up for themselves, let's say she finally spoke up for herself. Are you going to tell me that that's why people are angry with her? And she's done nothing at all to deserve any of the criticisms she's been getting? The crap that she went through, I can guarantee she wouldn't wish on her biggest enemy. Well, you'd probably need a big bus to shuttle in those contenders. But in fact, consider this, if it was so difficult on Joy that she was suffering the tortures of the damned, then she could have either ended her channel much sooner than she did, uh, buckled under the pressure that she was getting for weeks and weeks b sooner. She could have ended it sooner, but also think about how she got her channel. She went and kicked the hornet's nest that is Onision and his fans. She gunned for him and rode those coattails to her fame, air quotes, such as it is. So she had no problem having the stomach for drama when it was to get a name for herself. And the only time that she finally did shut down her channel 
it was under so much mystery that nobody really knows the reason at this point, but uh, supposition suggests that it's because she was under the gun to prove her receipts for the money that she was going to give to Rose. I really don't know the reason, but I don't believe it was because she couldn't handle being bullied. She certainly still has her Patreon and her Patreon followers. So I just don't see her as the victim that you see her as. It's ridiculous. And for people to judge her on bringing the actual truth to light, I think you're pretty hypocritical because I know for me, I wouldn't sit there and just be quiet. This once again begs the question, what truth? What truth are you speaking about, J.D.? What has Joy brought to light that people have just ignored, that hasn't exonerated her? Please tell me what I've missed. Because I'll tell you what I think truth is. Truth is what we do. It isn't what we say. And Joy has said many times that those children were her main concern, that what mattered were those children. Her actions told the truth because in fact she chose to keep those videos up she chose to make a video giving Rose an ultimatum tell people that I am wonderful that I am innocent of all of these things or else if you don't do that I'm gonna tell people I'm gonna make sure people know that I'm nice because you know why joy couldn't let it go for the sake of those children let me ask you this, how hard a decision would that have been for you? You say you wouldn't sit quiet while being mistreated, and that is a virtue. But would you also have the virtue to say, I'm not going to worry about my personal feelings here. I'm not going to worry about appearances. I'm going to do the right thing by some kids. In a hundred years from now, nobody's going to care about any of this, so I'm going to do the right thing and I won't care about getting credit, and I won't care about getting criticism, because I know I've done the right thing. For whatever reason, Joy didn't have it in her to do that. And that's the truth. She's not a victim any more than she's an adult. I would let anyone and everyone know that no these people are full of crap they're lying and I've got the proof to show it so why all of a sudden is she this awful person sorry getting ready for Halloween getting the chainsaws out okay well I'm not gonna lie to you I find the children really just appreciate a Reese cup anyway so you know why would anyone ever be mad at someone else wanting to put the actual truth out there. Why indeed? JD, I hope you'll ask yourself that question and hear how illogical it sounds. Is everyone just angry at Joy's truth for the sake of being angry at the truth? Or perhaps are there other reasons? And when I say everyone, I'm talking about a group of individuals with different degrees of disgust, <laughs> different opinions, not a bunch of pitchforks and torches. Everyone, if you want to see the rest of JD's video, I'm going to put the link below. And I do mean it sincerely when I say, please be nice to her. Be the citizen of the future you'd like to see tomorrow. And that's not a, please be nice. Please don't defend me to these terrible, terrible bullies who are mean to me and deserve to be persecuted. I mean, I can't control what you do, but don't do anything. I mean, I mean unless you do. <laughs> At any rate... It's been a pleasure, and I'll see you next time. And as always, I don't speak for everyone, just everyone who wants to be right. So saith the housefrau.